Good afternoon everybody and welcome back to Visit File Coast. Noticed I said good afternoon because I've been waiting for the sun to come out for you. It's a little bit hazy but it's actually really really warm and I think this is the beginning of that September heat wave that we've been promised. And I don't know whether you can hear them over the top of me rattling but there's actually crickets or grasshoppers or something. And this grass down here, they're really noisy because we're at the side of Anchor Zone Park, which is probably, probably the newest park to be completed, although it is not a new park as such. But it's a, a, it's a refurbishment because in recent years, United Utilities did a huge, huge job. You can just about see there's a, a cream area there at the side of the cafe building. And underneath there, there's a great big hole which stores storm water. And then this little building here pumps it out to sea under a great big long pipe. You can just see one of the boys somewhere there. There's a little green dot. But there's a new pipe that goes right out a long way. And that's what's done such a good job of cleaning up our bathing waters. So this is the first part of our Cleveley Seafront walk this afternoon. But before we do that, don't forget, make sure that you've subscribed to the Visit File Coast YouTube channel. Make sure you've hit that little bell and then you'll get notifications when we upload new content and go live and do all the weird and wonderful things that we do. And don't forget to sign up as well for our weekly email newsletter because that's full of interesting things every week straight to your inbox. So this actually feels like it should be Cleveley's and I know a lot of you do call it Cleveley's but in fact this is Blackpool. Technically we are still in the mighty borough of Blackpool and because it's a bit hazy you can't really see very much in the distance but that's the Norbrecht Castle Hotel there and sort of somewhere down there is Blackpool and Blackpool Piers and the tower and whatnot. This here is where the tram crossing is and the tram stop and the public toilets. You need to know where all the toilets are. So as we are still in Blackpool at the moment, this park, Anchor Zone Park, is actually a Blackpool Council Park. And you can see that there's a new children's playground, the cafe where you can go and get your, your tea and your, your drinks and your ice creams. So it's a nice, nice park, plenty of space for the kids to play. Plenty of facilities as well. So we're going to just navigate carefully down this little ramp and then I don't go flying. Because <laughs> the day that I go flying, we need to make sure we capture it on camera. We're going to go across and we're going to go and take a look at this beautiful seafront. And oh yes, you can just about see it because what I was going to say to you was you can see the remains of a real life shipwreck here. And most of these things that I'm mentioning to you, we've actually covered in separate videos on our channel. So there's a, a separate video about Anchor Zone Park and there's a separate video about this shipwreck. And I'm going to zoom in and you should just about be able to see the top of it because the tide's still slightly in. You can see a, a, a patch of little black things sticking up in the water and that is the remains of the Abana shipwreck. And depending on how the tide comes in and out and moves the sand and, and lifts and drops the beach, it's, sometimes it's really, really visible and other times it's perhaps not quite as much. Looks as if it's a little bit covered today. Um, the, the chains are up here at the beach access and I would suspect that's because it's quite muddy and there's a very long channel here across the edge of the, the beach, which is obviously going to be dangerous and we don't want anybody getting cut off, especially not on our watch. So we're going to take a walk in this direction and we're going to do this in a series of four parts. So this is part one of our walking tour of, of Cleveland Seafront. 
And this is also as well where some years ago you would have seen the remains of another shipwreck. And you might actually remember the River Dance Ferry. <laughs> that, was, that was a fabulous tourist attraction. And a big Isle of Man roll on roll off ferry kind of parked itself round about sort of here it was oh no it must have been round about here because it actually landed on the outfall pipe and you, I can just see the little green boy and it literally ended up I don't know what you call it crashing shoring berthing What's it called when a, when a ship ends up stuck? It ran aground. It ran aground on one stormy night in, in January. Quite some years ago now, it's over 10 years ago. I mean, it was a right performance getting rid of it because the, the ship had lurched so that it couldn't be refloated. So it ended up having to be cut up for salvage. Sadly, I wasn't doing Visit Cleveland's and Visit Fire Coast at the time because if I had been, believe me, I would have, I would have been making video after video. But there is information about it on our uh, website, so I think it's on Live Blackpool. I'll put the link underneath for you and then you can have a look at it. And there's photographs and information about it and then when they cut the ship up and moved that, they had to replace all the outfall pipe because it was bent and broken. So there you go, you see, we have our share of excitement here at the seafront. But this is a lovely spot for the most amazing views. I mean, at the moment, as I said, I've been waiting for the sun to come out so that I could show you, I could show you the view in all its in all its glory and when the when the cars stop zipping up and down it's very peaceful and a, a lovely lovely view and the sunsets on this coastline are to be seen they really are they're just beautiful but we also get really really awful weather as well and when you see it coming sort of over at this kind of height <laughs> It sort of puts into perspective why you need such a high sea wall because it really, really can get um, quite violent here and it overtops, even though it's, uh, it's a new sea wall, the waves can still come over the top. And this, this promenade here, this is, this is Prince's Way, the road, the highway at the side of us, and this can still flood. Um, this new sea defence is very recently completed and again there's everything you could ever possibly wish to know about it on our Live Blackpool website. Big engineering project, 23, 25 million pounds worth of work and it's made a significant difference and the, the, the thing is that no sea defence will ever stop flooding outright. It, it will be it would be impossible because it's it's got to be a balance of how much it costs what it protects in this case it's all this property and infrastructure and tramways and sewage facilities and businesses and and, and all the rest of it versus what you would need to build to completely eliminate all risk of flooding and you'd end up with a wall if you were trying to do that that was just so high that it would just ruin ruin the place completely it's all very complicated and over over recent years i've i've learned quite a lot about sea defenses and, and flooding just down here is the tramway crossing at the petrol station and on the this side of the road is the little shop it's a little shop and we're heading in the direction of Cleveland yeah so to go back to the sea defences I might have learnt a lot over the last 10 years but goodness I don't I don't know half nor a quarter 
I don't. It's very complicated and there are lots of different things that are interconnected and affect. One thing affects another, affects another, affects another. So it's not, it's not as simple as you might think. But nonetheless, it's created quite a, quite a public facility. And look at all the birds as well. You know, this is a this is a lovely asset for people to use, and it's really it's really quiet now. It's about three thirty on a Monday afternoon, and it's been dull but very warm all day. Um, and obviously people are busy doing whatever they do at tea time, but you won't be able to see them. But there are little tiny birds running about, loads of seagulls down here, and they're all enjoying the food that's brought in and left by the retreating tide because that might look like well not your ideal sort of sandcastle building beach but it's a fabulous table a dining table for birds and it'll be full of all the little wriggly things that they like to eat so this curve that we've just walked around is actually over the top of the old pumping station so that was built many years ago and once the new one had been finished in in anchor zone park um it was decommissioned i believe it it is decommissioned i know they were going to do so obviously you've got to build your new one before you can before you can get rid of your old one so um yes another another fan um, fa fence I'm trying to say fence and barrier at the same time to keep you off the beach and it can get very very dangerous this stretch got to be very careful especially in winter during storm season and at high tide because we would hate anybody to get washed away these big square bricky things these these are, are what's known as wave breaker units and they're deliberately designed in that kind of shape to dissipate the energy of waves as they bang against it. It's all very clever. It's all very clever stuff. I think, I think in another life I might have enjoyed being an engineer. The only problem is I'm useless at maths. So that probably would have been a bit of a, a, bit of a disadvantage. So as you can see, we've got little benches, places to sit down and rest your legs. It's a lovely little spot. And you'll see as well along the, the, the seafront all, all along the Fowl Coast and probably at other seaside towns as well, that there are these sort of intermittent humps in the road and you've probably looked at them and wondered what on earth they're for. And they're part of the sea defences as well, it's to stop any water that ends up coming over here onto this section of road from traveling up and going down that turn there and they do work there's one further along at russell promenade near where i live and i've seen it in action i can vouch for it i know that it works and it does do a good job at holding back flood water interesting Interesting fact, can you see that row of sticks stuck up on the beach just at the left of that chap that's walking along? They're tram lines, would you believe? And there's another video about that on our channel. And they're from groins, from wooden groins like these here. These up here that are, are still standing, these have obviously been old and and of the boards have come out and, and washed away but the the old tramway lines that have been recycled and used as wood, wooden metal post supports to build groins and this line of rocks here is pretty much the boundary between blackpool and cleveland because the boundary between blackpool and cleveland borough is at our right hand side here at Kingsway. 
And you know that you're at Cleveland's because it says so on the wall down here. There's a, there's, a, there's a sign, we have a sign. So this metal thing that's stuck up in front of us is the Shipwreck Memorial. And we'll take a look at that in part two of this walking tour. And on the right hand side you can see Cleveland's, it's starting to disappear under a little sand dune. And the road at the side of this red apartment block is Kingsway and that's the that's the boundary between the borough of Wyatt and the borough of Blackpool. And the pipe, you're probably wondering what this big pipe is. Well, if you stood next to one on a, a warm day when it's been warm for a long time, you'll know what that is. It's a vent pipe for the sewage system. <laughs> Um, I, I can't smell anything at the minute. No smell whatsoever, but sometimes you get the most revolting odd sewage as you walk past them. They're, they're, all, they're all along the promenade because there's a huge, huge sewage pipe runs all the way down the seafront from Fleetwood all the way up to Blackpool because it's one of those things that everybody needs, but nobody ever wants to talk about. We're back at toilets again. So this is the Cleveland's, disappearing under its own little Diddy Baby Sand Dune. And this is the Shipwreck Memorial. And this is the end of part one of our walking tour. So don't forget people, make sure that you've subscribed to Visit File Coast on YouTube. We're on, we're on um, Play School now, we're going through the round window. Make sure that you've subscribed to Visit File Coast on YouTube and hit that little bell. And don't forget to make sure that you've signed up for your weekly email newsletter full of all kinds of interesting things every week. And we'll see you in part two. Bye for now.